camp. Camp this year was Coach Harbour showed a lot of love this year. You know, he made sure that we take care of our bodies. They added a whole bunch of new stuff in there, the car wash. If you guys didn't see that uh, clip with uh, Ben Mason diving into the car wash, stuff like that. So, you know, he added a lot of stuff into our uh, practices, making sure we have the stretching before and then the active uh, recovery after. So, you know, just taking, uh, just taking care of our bodies day in and day out, just making sure that we're ready every day to go. Where do you take, you think you've taken the biggest stride since the end of last year? Biggest stride since this year and last year? Well, I feel like I've always pushed myself in practice, so always take the extra mile. And when I'm tired, just keep going. Like when I'm hurt, like just to keep pushing through it. Um, this year, I feel like there's a lot of younger guys on the D-line, so kind of just taking all of the stuff that I've learned throughout the years and like just trying to teach them and just trying to like stay on top of them and, and like let them know that if they mess up, like you can't do that. Make sure like they're watching the film, make sure like they get into their technique, right? Is more of the more experienced guys on the, on the line now. I mean, does that change your approach to the, the season at all? Or? Um, I feel like there's a good amount of experienced guys on our team. I feel like the two deep is kind of young, but I feel like the one deep is doing a great job of making sure that like they know their stuff, making sure that they're on top of it. Cody, how does Josh Uche's role and what do you guys do maybe change how, you, how things look? Or at least uh, maybe, maybe how it feels. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's good, you know, because when Uche gets in the game and, like, we're doing all our stunts and stuff like that, like, teams are really going to have to respect it this year. So having him on the field really opens opportunity for other people to, like, really get get in there and get their pass rushes in because they're going to be keying on him this year, you know, a lot. So it'll open a lot of opportunities for other guys. In him playing in different spots, does that make you guys more dynamic? Maybe Versatile, yeah. Yeah, you know, so, like, Uche will come down to the end sometimes and stuff like that. And, like... We have a lot of D-line that could like just bump over. So like if we're in our set and uh, if it's like a tight right or whatever, and like if we're offset or whatever, I could just stay at the anchor and, he could, and, and Aiden can play at the end, you know? And same thing with G and uh, Carlo, we could just swap, swap sides. So being versatile and uh, athletic is really good for our D-line. Have you done much this year with like three D, three D ends on the, on the ground up front? You have so many that are yeah, coming man. to play. Yeah, yeah. like. Like uh, like I said, like there's there's a bunch of uh, formation stuff for like we have a lot of pass rushes on the on the D line and like it'll be it'll be it'll be, it'll be good because we have a lot of fast fast guys there. With the offense doing what it's doing now, how much has the tempo of just practice in general changed this year? It increased, man. You know, uh, they're having this run to the ball a lot. You know, they're having this get set, get set, and like just keep running. So you know, just having them, you know, picking up the tempo because. Uh, towards the end of the season last year, we were kind of gassed because a lot of teams were doing that. So, you know, so for us to see every day in practice is extremely well for our defense. How is the defensive line room different without Rashawn and without Chase there? And does it force you to kind of put a lot more on your shoulders in terms of leadership and, you know, that sort of thing? Yeah, I mean, uh, with Rashawn and Chase going, you know, it was, it was a huge blow. But I feel like having Carlo Kemp, the captain, like in our D-line room kind of Kind of really, he's taking over that uh, leadership role. Like just having like the other older guys, like G, me, and even Mike Dana. Uh, he's stepped up as a leader, teaching like some of the uh, younger guys their techniques and stuff like that. Just helping them. You feel like you're finding your voice as a leader too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know because. Um, uh, Coach Brown and Coach Harbor had talked to me a couple of times and said like, yeah, because I'm usually a quiet person, but they're saying that like, I have uh, what do you call it? Um, like, I don't know, like, like when I talk, like people listen because I don't really say a lot. So like, and I'm always doing the right thing. So like when I speak to the younger guys, they'll listen and like, just they'll follow by my, uh, by my actions. Is it a mic like, I mean, you can play either end spot. Is Mike yeah. like you in that sense? Can he play either? Or is he Mike, yeah, yeah, yeah. Down? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So it's the same thing for like all our energy you now. So like. We we've been taught that like if we're in our if we're set whatever and like if the offense switches over you're gonna have to play that anchor spot yeah. Can you talk about why you decided to come here? I know other schools were after him. Has he talked to you about Mike why? Dana? Yeah. Why you chose him? Um, I haven't really talked to him about that. I haven't to be honest. Has he been? Uh a surprise at all. I mean, he's played at low level, but he was really, really good yeah. at Central. Has he been, uh, yeah, he's, you were like, you yeah, know, oh. yeah, exactly. Yeah, like the first couple, like he's extremely strong, you know, mm -hmm. he's fast. So, like, when he came here, he meshed really well into our off, I mean, to our defense because he did basically like the same thing at Central. So, so yeah, he, he meshed in well. Is the 